hello YouTube. You like that little intro? Yeah, just a little something I've been dabbling lately. Um, hope you enjoyed it because I'm going to probably make a few others, maybe a few different ones. But nonetheless, let's get on to episode 8. Okay, so we left off last episode, and I do apologize for that. Uh, but getting our lava system in place. Now there are a few things, a few more things we still have to do. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm getting kind of low on food. And just to show you guys here, those carrots and these few potatoes is all I have in this corn. Now this corn is a good source. Um, we're getting a lot of corn kettle from our corn. Something we can actually do with that. Uh, let's just go right over here. If we pop the corn kernels into a furnace, you will get dun 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 popcorn. This stuff is awesome. Uh, I'll actually have to wait for my hunger to go down a little bit. So let me cut, run around, and show you guys. Okay, so real quick before I get stark, I also just run around killing a few pigs because I need some beef. Uh, now popcorn. We eat the popcorn. Ooh, gives us food and speed for like 10 seconds. How nice is that? I think that's pretty cool. Uh, the popcorn, of course, the corn is from Zycraft, so you can thank Sworn for the popcorn. I think it's just the most amazing thing. And word has it that he is making butter. <laughs> Odd coincidence of how that came about. Direwolf requested it. Uh, Sworn complied. Okay, so just real quick, gonna check on this guy. Oh, he's almost full. Now, I haven't finished the floor in here yet, uh, but something I want to get into... Hmm, let me think of how I want to do this. Okay, just killing some cows because I needed their leather uh, for a few things from a few episodes back. But you guys remember when I found uh, that volcano just right over there? When I first came out to my little desert? Yeah, well, we're going to gather some of that material. Because I think that's going to make a nice little floor. And if you don't know exactly what blocks I'm talking about, well, stay tuned and you'll find out. Okay, and back. So, after decimating the side of that volcano, I got uh, just over three stacks. We're actually going to need to smelt this stuff down. So let's see what kind of stuff we're going to get. We're going to get basalt from basalt cobblestone. Alright, so I'm going to give that a few minutes to finish cooking up and we'll be right back. Okay, so while I had some of this cooking up, which I'm going to just take an even number here. Now, you do the same thing like you do with the bricks. Pattern of four, that'll give you four basalt brick. This stuff is pretty nice looking. This comes from, of course, Red Power 2. Let me get some of this here. I just need a little bit for now, because I was while that was cooking up, I was digging out uh, what's going to be a tank. So I just want to place this stuff here so it's easier to get up here. Ah, oh, this stuff just looks beautiful. Alright, so just going to continue digging this out. Uh, kind of know what I'm doing here. Don't count on it though. Uh, but we'll be right back. I'm uh, going to let the rest of that basalt cook up. The cobblestone that is. Uh, basically, if you haven't guessed already, I am making a Zycraft tank. Yes, indeedy. Okay, so... Actually, no. These need to go. Because I don't believe you can make your tanks walls out of dirt. That's why I'm taking all the dirt out. And just being extra cautious, getting the... Uh, corners there.
All right, so I'm just gonna fill it with cobble. right back. Okay, back. Have some more basalt made up. Just a little bit more. I don't think I'm going to have enough to finish this room. I might have to go for another round. Okay, I went upstairs for something and completely forgot it. Cobble. Now I could be filling the edges in with something else, but we're not going to really be seeing the edges. So I'm just filling it with cobble. Now this is where we're going to store our lava. Now I could make an iron tank and have more storage but eh, what's the point that takes a lot of iron and I actually need the iron that I have uh, so we're just gonna make a nifty old Zycraft take I think that'll work place that guy there and there's a few other things that I want to make up and actually if I want I'll go ahead and dig this out one layer make it a little bit bigger tank. I'm not even sure what sizes you can make. I'm gonna say... Oh, I'm not gonna attempt to guess. I'll have to look at the wiki uh, at some point. Place that there. Alright, so the next thing I want to make is because we're gonna be wanting to want to be able to see in there. So I'll make that front area out of glass viewers. Uh, which... <laughs> I need more sand. Okay, let me let me go get some more sand, and while I'm out, I'll grab some more basalt as well. Okay, so decimated the side of this little hill here, and I actually ran out of power. Luckily, I have this little pickaxe that I'm going to use on the uh, volcano for the basalt. So I'm going to go gather that up and meet you back at base. Okay, guys, back at base. Uh, got me some sand, so I'm going to let's go and go ahead and toss my sand. Oh, don't want him. Uh, that should be enough glass. All right, so I'm gonna go and clean out my inventory here real quick. Uh, I don't want cobble in there. <laughs> Got me a good bit of beef. Love the beef. Oh, it's the right chest. Okay. All right. Gonna go power up my or uh re-energize my equipment and I'll be back once some of that glass is finished up okay so we have some glass ready that should be enough I'll just grab some iron I uh, should probably sleep this night soon okay so I'm just gonna make a whole bunch of this stuff toss it in there for now and while that was cooking up, I went ahead and took what was cooking up and started working on the floor. Just need a little bit more left. Okay. So, going to... Just close this guy up. And take from my back here my two valves, because I'll actually need two of them. 
Uh, let's see, where do we want the input for this guy? Oh, I did charge my drill up. Or do I want it in the front so I can keep an eye on it? Output back here. Okay, so something's not working. testing I think I figured out my problem I had it uneven <laughs> and I technically had it right being an 8 by 8 but I was one too far on the side let me go ahead and just do that I was about to dig all the way around it, but I said, no, I'm going to hop in my test world, try out the different sizes. And first I counted what I had, and I thought I had a full 8 by 8 but I did not. So let's make sure this works. Still not working, so I think there's something that's preventing it from working. Now this is an 8 by 8 Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's eight by eight. So let me dig around and figure out what I can think what may be causing the problem. Be right back. Okay, guys, and back. Uh, didn't real f really find anything wrong with it. Uh, what I actually did is I tore the whole thing down, rebuilt it. So we're going to test, see if this works. And there we go. You get these little graphics here when the Zycraft tank works. It holds a lot, a lot of uh, lava. Uh, I ignore the cheat mode. I was not cheating. I was actually in a test world testing the different sizes. And that's how I found an 8x8 would work, which I was using an 8x8, so I'm not sure what was causing it to break. Uh, just filling in the rest of this, I'm going to need some more cobble. And then we're going to get to work on how we're going to move that lava to the overworld. Be right back. Okay, and welcome back. What we're actually going to do is we're going to work on liquid tesseracts now these guys do use a diamond and they are going to use a bit of my iron for something else er, not sure I want to do this now um, what a tesseract is, is it teleports liquid uh, you have your energy liquid and item energy has energy lost when transferring uh, the liquids and items do not uh, they're pretty nice they do take a diamond and I need to pulverize obsidian make a couple of these why is that not working there we go
Now I just need to wait on that stuff. Just waiting on stuff to do stuff so we can make stuff. I thought it made sense. Alright, we just need eight, which we're definitely not going to have enough of. Okay. I need two more obsidian. I know I don't have any more wood. Nope. Let me just remedy that real quick. cover those barrels up. Okay, so while that's going, I'm going to go fill in that floor down here. Pretty. I like everything about it. Okay, uh, actually I forgot to hit press record, but you know, I got my other two hardened glass. I just placed them in the diamond pattern here and got my two test right frames. Now what we're going to want to do is place these right here in the liquid transposer. What we're going to fill it with? Hmm, molten ender. That is right. So I don't have any ender pearls, so I have to make some. Not sure how many it's going to take, so I'm going to make very few at a time. Oh, that's not a whole lot. Okay, so I'll put these two in. Uh, let's see. Oh, it uses one of those bars. Aha, there it goes. So it takes four, exactly four ender pearls to fill one of them up. That's actually not that bad. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this guy rolling. Bam. So I had all the items that I needed. Oh, through the power of editing, you only get to wait a second. How about that? Liquid Tesseract. Liquid Tesseract. These guys are cool. Let's go check them out. Uh, the first thing I want to do is we're just going to place him, this guy, right here. Now he has different frequencies, uh, and you can configure him public access only, owner only, we'll leave it public, uh, receive only. And we're going to call this Lava N. Frequency 1. We're going to add that frequency. So now we place him, he has the same stuff. Shift right click to pick it up. And now we're also going to want a chunk loader over here, and I only have the one. So I need to, unfortunately, make me another chunk loader. Get me five pieces of gold, which I only have four. There's my five. Glass. Oh yeah, I know what I'm doing with that glass. Uh, what I'm making, oh yeah. So I need to get some more wood. I'll be right back. Okay, I got my wood, which I've already transmuted into obsidian. We're going to make... Oh, we need four. 
our enchantment table, which I believe is like this. There we go. Place that guy there. Surround him in gold. Let's take another diamond. Um. No, 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 no. Ah, Ender Pearl. Okay. That would make sense. Alright, so I got two chunk letters. Let me go set this guy up. Let's say. Oh, right about here. Okay, make sure he's covering all of this. Good, 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 good. So now our base is always loaded, which is going to be pretty nice. Now, I'll meet you guys on the other side of the nether. Okay, so here we are in the nether. We can actually get rid of this, because we can hook this guy directly to it. We set him to 1, set frequency, send only. Uh, we need to place our chunk loader. So right here is bumping him, bump him up a few. As you can tell, these guys just started when we came in here. So let's go check how things are going. See if we're getting any income in our tank. Oh yeah, you can already see it. Lava. Why is it not filling up? Oh, yeah, it is, just very slowly. Well, the key thing is, is it's filling up. Alright, so now we have lava coming in from the nether. That's just so cool. Okay, just finished the flooring a little down there. I'm just trying to think of a few things to do. Now that we have these glass viewers, I'm going to go ahead and fill this guy in. Oh yeah, looking snazzy. Man, I hear something walking around. Maybe it's those pigs. I don't know, it sounded odd. You got the story here first. The story went crazy in Minecraft. Alright, let's go check on our lava. Oh yeah, it's starting to fill it nicely. So, there's a few things that we want to make to use that lava. Let's see. We want to make some of these magmatic engines. Ooh, what is Envar? I've never seen this stuff before. Two iron dust and fierce metal. Okie dokie then, let me, uh, hmm, 
Let me pulverize some of that stuff down, and I'll be right back. Okay, so our dust just finished. I believe I'll show you guys how to make this before. But we're actually going to get 12. We're going to use all 11 of those in the wrong spot. Okay, so I'm going to give those time to cook. What else do we need? Uh, we're going to need some pistons. There's a cool little function um, with this table. And I want to see if I can find a flower and show you guys how to use it. Be right back. Okay, so did not find what I was looking for. Uh, the flower I'm actually looking for is the indigo flower from Red Power 2. It unfortunately does not grow in extra biomes from the extra biomes mod it only grows in vanilla biomes uh, so what we're going to do to remedy that you can actually get it to grow in extra biomes you just have to kind of force a hand we're going to take our bone mill and just use it out here mm. Not seeing any. Come on, indigo. There we go. Is that it? Yes, indigo flower. Get a few more of those. I'll have to clean this mess up later. <laughs> Okay, so our invar is done. Uh, let's go ahead and put your indigo flowers up here. You get two indigo dye per. Now, what are we going to make with this? Well, we're going to make a blank plan. Well, we're going to need some paper. I don't have any paper yet. Luckily, I have this nifty little reed farm growing over here that has a little bit of extra reeds. Uh, we're only going to need three, so one, two, three. All right. Need to harvest my food here soon. Okay. So we combine these with paper, we get blank plans. Now, what do we do with plans? Well, they go right here. Uh, and what we're going to do is place the recipe for our, uh, yeah, I always do that. Okay, then you get this little, uh, I guess that's a quill up here, and you click on that. Now you have a uh, piston plan. It's going to tell you exactly what it's, what's needed to make it. One iron ingot, uh, three oak wood planks, four cobblestone, and one redstone. Now what we'll do is we'll remove the recipe here. Just place the plan. You get a ghost image, and if you don't have any one items, it blackens out. So we'll place them then there, and we need two pistons. Now I will never have to place the piston recipe up there again. And you can make plans for anything but they don't stack obviously uh, and they can be kind of cumbersome so I would maybe be careful about what you make plans for only stuff that you're absolutely going to use a lot okay so I actually only made enough for one engine so wow we need 11 invar for one engine Okay, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing? Oh. Why do they do that recipe like that? Uh, I need some silver. Be right back. Hop and skip later, which you only had to wait a fraction of a second, which is only hmm, maybe four seconds for me. Okay, so we get some of these guys. Place them right here. I don't know why I made two pistons when I obviously did not make enough of anything else. 
All right, we get one magmatic engine. This guy is awesome. So what we're actually going to do is break I actually don't need this here for now. Maybe that has something to do with this. May maybe. I highly doubt it though. Dirt. Okay. So we definitely need some liquid ducts. Uh, right here. No, right here. Place this guy here. All right, so get you gotta flip that guy that way. Place this doohickey right here and give it a little push. Ha ha ha! It instantly gets lava and instantly starts going. Now, that is going to fill up nicely. And if we have a row of these, since we have an unlimited supply of, well, not unlimited supply, but might as well be, that's going to supply us with a nice bit of power. Okay, guys, episode's running a little bit long. Uh, so, I mean, we've been very productive today. We have a steady income of lava. Uh, we have, we're using that lava now to start powering our machines and store energy. I'm actually going to place a lever here and turn him off. Uh, we'll come back next episode. I'll get to work. I'll make more. Uh, maybe have two more going this way. Well, I can't have too many going that way. Uh, but have a few more going out this way. And that will supply us with enough power that we'll need. We're also going to use this lava to power something else. Because I'm not going to use these magmatic engines for this forever. I definitely want to upgrade my power to something better later on down the road. Nothing close to what we're even capable of doing. Um, I want to get working on an auto sorting system. So we'll start that next episode as well, if we have the resources. I uh, may, may do a little bit of mining between this episode and next, uh, but we'll come back and we'll get started building more magmatic engines, expanding our power, and automatically sorting our items. How cool is that going to be? All right, stay tuned next time. This is Astoria. Take it easy. Goodbye.